charts will show the supervisor's office exactly what we've done so far. The first problem was to clear the area, get rid of the dry brush. That bad, huh? One spark in this whole area could have gone, including the town. Here's something else you can put in your report, Scott. We need this camp. And I mean, we need it here, and we need it now. Now, the supervisor's office knows that, Roy. Otherwise, they wouldn't have okayed the building material. But we have had some letters. Yeah. From Ted Worth, one man. One city councilman. There's a difference. Anyway, I'm here to convince him the Job Corps isn't coddling a bunch of hoodlums and juvenile delinquents practically on his doorstep. You have any suggestions? Sorry. But they're your delinquents. They've broken their backs to get this area cleared to protect his doorstep. Doesn't Worth know that these camps help a town's economy? That's one of the questions I was going to ask him when I stopped off in town. He was too busy to see me. Welcome to the club. He not only won't see me, he won't even come out here to see what we're doing. How are you going to reason with a man like that? With facts and figures, I hope. Look, no one's all bad, Roy. I'm sure Councilman Worth is doing what he thinks is best for the town. Can't put a man down for that. You can if he's wrong. Uh, uh, not till you prove him wrong. All right, girl, go stretch your legs. Look, I'll need all the ammunition you can give me. And I'd like to talk to some of the boys, too. Hey. Come on, over here. Luke's tried to make a pet out of everything from a porcupine to a beaver. Luke Roberts. He's a new boy. He's just been with us about a month. Say, you're from Chicago, aren't you? Mm. Born and raised. So is Luke. You want to talk to someone, you might start with him. OK. <laughs> you're beautiful. You know that? I mean, you're just downright beautiful. You like me, too, huh? Looks like you made a friend, Luke. My name's Scott Turner. Her name is Lassie. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. Lassie, huh? Well, you already know how I feel about you. Yeah, it's almost time for the afternoon rest period. You look like you could use it. Yeah. Most of the guys just flake out when the whistle blows, but me, I head for that swimming hole back in the woods. Hey, uh, how about letting me take Lassie along with me? Fine with me. Matter of fact, I'd appreciate it. You'd go pretty good with one of these. Have you used one before you joined the job corps? No, I never even saw one before. I never used much of anything before I signed up, especially my head. Scuttlebutt has it that you're here to make out a report. It's not about me, is it? I mean, I'm not in any trouble, am I? Nope. Not unless you did something in town that might embarrass you. Town? I've had enough town to last me the rest of my life. I don't care if I ever see the place. I'm clean, Mr. Turner, you know that. If you want to put something in your report about me, I can give it to you in one sentence. I found a home out here. And I'm going to stay here if I have to trap my own food and sleep out in the ground. <laughs> may sound funny coming from a high school dropout, but you give me about six years, and I'll be wearing the same uniform you are. You know something, Luke? I don't believe you. I'll get you some cheese. Go with him, girl. Learn anything? Nothing I couldn't have written about myself a few years ago. Say some of that energy for the water. That's the only way to fly. Well, girl, sounds like we're gonna have some company. Right through here. Go on, girl.
Hello yourself. Hi. Hi, I'm Luke. Phil. Well, go on, girl. I'm right behind you. Feels good, huh? Sure beats turning on a hydrant, doesn't it? I guess. You're from the camp, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You live around here? In town. You guys keep a pretty tight schedule. What are you telling me? Whew. How about tomorrow? Same time? Yeah, sure, I'll be here. You uh, want me to drive you back? My car's up the road. No, no. I'll walk back. You save your gas. It's not that far. Well, come on, Lassie. Let's go. Lassie? Lassie! to come looking for you. No, no, no more games now. You want to get me docked for being late?
Is she okay? Well, she must be. She still wants to play. Well, I'll see you around. All right. Games? I'll race you back to the camp. Come on. That's enough, Nancy. That's how I wasted two years of my life, just fooling around. Well, come on, come on. Stick around, girl. We'll be driving into town soon.
So far, I haven't had much support from the rest of the city council. Most of them seem to think this camp is a good thing. Frankly, I was about to back away from it. <laughs> Figured I was stirring up a hornet's nest where there weren't any hornets. But then when they stole my son's watch, I figured... Is that the boy? Mr. Worth, this is Luke Roberts. Hello. Hi, Phil. Ooh, what's, what's going on? The longer you hedge, young man, the tougher it's gonna be on all of us. Now hand it over. Now hold it, Mr. Worth. Luke. Tell me this afternoon you were clean. Does that still stand? Yes, sir. Well, this man thinks she stole his son's watch. If it's true, he intends to close down the camp. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Well, what would you make something look like that for? I thought we were supposed to be buddies. I thought we were, too. But you were the only one there. You and Lassie. What is it, girl? Where'd you get this? She wants us to follow her. What in the world for? She was there too, Dad. It's possible she knows something we don't. Remember, she disappeared for a while? Yeah, when she came back, she acted kind of funny. You know, kind of funny. Well, it's possible. If I don't come back here with a watch, you start packing your gear, turns and all. I'll bet the camp, against your apology, that your son's watch is in that nest.
Look at this. <laughs> well, I think I'll take that bet you just made me. Well, sometimes it's a it's a pleasure to be wrong. Will you accept my apology, son? Yeah, sure. At the same time tomorrow? I'll be there. And I'll leave this at home. Thank you, Lassie. Now, the next time you start acting funny, I'll follow your act. All right, all right. <laughs> It's a little tarnished, but none the worse for wear. <laughs> <laughs>